Hello, my name is Mark Asmus and I am with Plumline Solutions. In this video, I will review the Correct Journal Transaction screen to show how you can easily reverse and correct and copy a journal transaction match. Let's get started. Here, I am already logged in to Microsoft Dynamics SL. I'll browse up to the General Ledger module and open the Journal Transaction screen. I'll F3 in the Batch Number field and select a batch. Let's say I want to reverse this batch. I can see that the batch has already been released, so I'm not allowed to edit it. But I can use the correct journal transactions icon to the right of the batch number field, which will open the correct journal transaction subscreen, and I can choose the reverse option. I'll click OK. And this will create a new batch for me that effectively reverses out the original batch. This new reversing batch has batch number 155, and the original batch was batch number 152. On this reversing batch, it has all the detail lines, only with the debits and credits switched around. The batch type is reversing to help identify this batch as a reversing batch. The ridge batch number field is also populated with the batch number I just reversed to help tie things together. I am not allowed to edit this batch, but if I didn't like how it looked, I could delete the entire batch at this point. If I am happy with how it looks, I can simply choose Release Now and Finish. Now say you need to correct a batch. Back in the Journal Transaction screen, I'll select a batch, batch number 153, that needs correcting. If the batch has already been released, the screen isn't going to let you edit it. So instead, you can select the Correct Journal Transaction screen icon again. This time, select the Reverse and Correct option and click OK. Now I am prompted that two batches were created. One a reversing batch, batch 157, which will undo the original batch. And then a second new batch, the correcting batch, batch 156, which is essentially a copy of the original batch that I'm now allowed to edit and fix. I'll click OK. Here I'm selected on the reversing batch, batch 157. It looks just like the reversing batch we did earlier. Uh, you can't edit it. I'll just go ahead and select Release Now and release it. Now I'll select the correcting batch that it created. And I can see that the batch is on hold, its type is correcting, and all the fields allow editing. So for example, maybe this task was wrong on this detail line, I can change that. Or maybe the amounts were wrong, I can change those as well. You can add lines, edit lines, delete lines, you can do anything you would normally do when creating a journal transaction batch. Once you're happy with how the batch looks, we can release it as in just like any other batch. Finally, I'll select an, another batch, batch 140. Maybe I just want to make a copy of this batch. Again, I can click the Correct Journal Transactions icon. This time I'll select Copy and click OK. This will create a new batch on hold with all the same details as the original batch. Again, you can edit this batch just like any other. I can add lines, edit lines, delete lines, do whatever I like, or I can simply keep it. If I'm happy with it, again, I can release it just like any other. And OK. So as a quick review, this icon to the right of the batch number field opens the correct journal transaction subscreen. It gives you three options. Reverse, which will just completely back out the batch you're on. Reverse and correct, which will back out the batch you're on and create a new batch to allow you to fix whatever was wrong with it. Or copy, which will make an exact copy of the batch that you're on. This concludes the overview of using the correct journal transactions feature in Microsoft Dynamics SL. Thank you.